so here's the deal. I'm the horrible girlfriend, and it's super early. Well, I guess not. Um, getting close to 5 o'clock in the morning. I gotta go to work. He's been taking the work. He started the car. And here he comes in the car. Talk to you later. Just dropped my girl off at work. It's 5 in the morning. Extra tired. Stayed up a little too late last night. I'm gonna go home, power nap it up, get up and go to my job. I'll see y'all here a little bit. Alright. Alright, let's see about uh, maybe getting this flange and the glass pack muffler all put together here today and maybe to the exhaust shop have it all put on. That'd be nice. I took off work a little bit early today to try and handle this exhaust business. I brought that flange with me, so now I'm going to go in and see about getting the appropriate size glass pack off for her. Wish me luck. <laughs> it's the PP boys. Just left PP boys, and they didn't have any glass packs at all on their shelves or in the back. At least the advanced auto parts had one in the back. It wasn't the diameter I needed, but it was a glass pack muffler. Gotta give them a thumbs up for that. We'll go on to the next one and see what happens. Let's see what O'Reilly's got. That's a little better. O'Reilly's had the diameter I needed. Uh, they only had the 25 inch overall, and I'm hoping to get one of these smaller ones because I'd like it to be a little shorter, but if that's what I got to take, I'll come back and get that one in a little bit and check uh, uh, AutoZone next. Looks like AutoZone has two 12-inch ones, but I was hoping to find a happy medium between the 25 and the 12, maybe like the 18 or 16. Um, I'm going to maybe uh, weigh my options a little bit more, but this might be what I go with here. I'll let you guys know. Okay, so I finished checking O'Reilly's Advanced Auto Depot. PP Boys don't make the list because they didn't have one. I might go with the 25 inch if I can fit it in there because the 12 is a little too short for my taste. I'm gonna uh, probably buy them both and see what fits best. And then just return the one I don't install. Simple as that. All this searching has me a little hangry. We're gonna be going in here to Safeway and get some food. White River Amphitheater. It's a full day of craft beers and tacos. Ooh, ah. You do have to be 21 to get into the Sabroso Festival. Street Sheets brought to you by the Shane Company. Okay, just finished uh, doing the dinner thing and all that. Heading out to grab the two exhaust pipes, one from O'Reilly's and one from AutoZone. I'll return the size that I don't use after the install is all finished. Spent most of the day running around trying to find a perfect sized muffler and I'm just going to have to make do with one of the two sizes that I get. So, and then uh, tomorrow we'll have to be in the exhaust shop after work. So you guys will have to see that happen tomorrow and not today. And uh, my buddy Josh came over he's driving me so I get a very uncommon chance to sit in the passenger seat and, and be a passenger. It's just freaking sweet. Miss Daisy. Hell yeah, driven around like Miss Daisy. <laughs> so, we're gonna hit the O'Reilly's first, and we're gonna hit the Auto Zone, and then probably on the way back, we're gonna hit Rainier Growlers and get my growler filled up, and uh, probably hang out, have some video game and drink action happening. Hell yeah, bro. Alright, so we did the things. Got the stuff, got the drink, got the mufflers, We've got a board game we're gonna play that instead of some video games. What we got there? The trail at Baldur's Gate. Hell yeah, brother. So, we're gonna go in here and have us some drinks. 
bust that game out and have ourselves a nice little evening. This is probably going to do it for me. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Got the game all set up. Josh is about to give us a crash course on the rules and we're going to have some fun here. Alright, the game's pretty fun so far. My girlfriend ended up being the traitor, so we sent her away so we can talk strategy. Just yeah, took this a little break. Here. So now we get to sit here and plot on how we're going to kill my girlfriend. Alright, so what we gotta do is collect these ion zones, which are marked by that quest thing there. So you gotta go up to it, and then you roll a knowledge roll. You have to roll three or better to pick it up. And then you get one of three abilities, depending on which one you get. If you get number one, you get the leadership one. If you do it and we kill your girlfriend while you're holding that, or I'm holding that, whoever kills her, we win. If you kill her without holding that one, you get the sword, and then you, uh, become the traitor and we have to try to kill you or me okay so yeah so all we just right. have to get to those and all right yeah. Let, let's kill my girlfriend all right we're gonna kill your girlfriend i won yay i did it my man josh he died but if you see this right here i am victorious standing on her head you stood on my yeah. head yeah <laughs> Pretty fun game. I think we're gonna play one more round before we call it quits for the night. We just set it back up to run it back. So here we go. This game is shady. We've got the executioner's block right next to the kitchen. Where are they getting their meat from? You deserved it. And it wasn't my fault. The thing told me to. So my girlfriend is the traitor again. But this time, my man Josh, he got banished. So, we don't, I don't know what I'm doing. What are we doing? I'm not going to strategize with you, traitor. We're good. All right. Well, that's where we're at. See y'all in a little bit. All right. So, my man Josh, not the strongest reader. Apparently, we were supposed to be banished, and she got to stay up there and put stuff on the board. But now, uh, so we're just hanging out downstairs, waiting for her to finish up upstairs, and then we're gonna go back up there, and we're gonna handle business. We're gonna, we're gonna kill my girlfriend. I already killed her once. We'll kill her again. All right. So my girl just caught Josh as the Minotaur. She about to kill him again. <laughs> <laughs> Physical damage. One, two. Just, I'm murked. Just dead. And he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so just me and the Minotaur. And you have to find a deck of cards. And I gotta find a thing in the deck. <laughs> I was trying really hard. But she caught me. Two, four, six, seven. Seven. What, physical? Yep, make your mic check. Oh, damn. <laughs> what I gotta beat? Seven. seven. Nope. So you take three physical. Take three yeah. physical. Four physical. Alright, I'm still alive. Oh, no, you're, you're right. Four, yeah. You're right. I'm still alive. Right on a warm breeze. A sense of contentment and peace replaces your tension and fear. Your companion, formerly a flesh-eating minotaur, now wanders around in a bit of a daze but is otherwise unhurt. When you look back at your hands, you see that the decks disappeared. Okay, so I turned my girlfriend from the minotaur back into a human. And I, it, it damn near killed me. She still punted me through a wall. <laughs> she killed my friend. Just saw my buddy Josh off. That game we played was really fun. If you've ever played Betrayal at House on Hill, it's the same game except for it's Baldar's Gate characters, which is a video game uh, slash like D&D &D, uh, fantasy realm universe. 
that about does it for me it's really late i gotta go to bed go to work tomorrow i didn't vlog at all at work today because i didn't talk to my boss about vlogging at work because he doesn't come in on mondays i'll talk to him tomorrow and see what he thinks if he's cool with it maybe i'll do a little vlogging at break all right see y'all later